DeFi Slate team. It's your boy Andy and welcome back to the DeFi Slate YouTube channel. Smash the like button on this video that really helps us out and sit back and enjoy the content. Thank you very much. As welcome back to the DeFi Slate YouTube channel here today with a potential opportunity for uh, bridging the Starknet a potential airdrop like ENS. If you guys recall back last year, ENS airdropped quite a nice amount to uh, holders of of uh, d domains and identities. So what we're going to do today is we are going to bridge on Startgate to Starknet mainnet, and then we are going to use going. All right, let's go. So we're on Startgate.Starknet.io. We're going to connect our MetaMask here um, into Stark gate to bridge Ethereum over. I've actually already bridged my Ethereum over, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the process. Basically, you just connect your Ethereum wallet, and then you connect your StarkNet wallet. I've got a Bravos wallet, or you can use Argent, both are available in the Google Chrome extension store. Super easy to use. Um, all you gotta do is set up your account, and it's game on. So you just pick the amount of ETH that you want to deposit, right? So you, you know, let's say you have one ETH, you would transfer over one ETH to Starknet, click transfer, pay a small gas fee, wait a couple minutes, and it will appear in your Bravos wallet. So once you get into the Bravos wallet and get it connected, you'll see here uh, on Starknet ID, I've got my account set up, I've got my ETH in there, um, and I'm on Starknet ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a do my Twitter name because I can. I'm gonna go ahead and do two years because why not? Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna register. This is my address. Two years. The tr the transaction is to make a new Starknet ID, and it's gonna cost this much. So I'm gonna go ahead and register from the layer two since I'm already uh, on Starknet mainnet. Pull up my Bravos wallet. Um, and um, they, they, these are transactions that I'm allowing. Uh, allow, mint, buy StarkNet ID, register, all for a dollar. Go ahead and sign that. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So that should go through. And then you guys want to see something cool? When I go to Jedi Swap, um, I, should be, I should have my StarkNet ID registered there in Jedi Swap. Once it goes through, just waiting on this mint transaction to go through. It should come through any second here. And you see, when you set up your StarkNet wallet, you have to actually deploy the account because it's a different type of wallet. It's actually a smart contract wallet compared to like uh, Ethereum wallets like a MetaMask, which is just like uh, in like a contract address or just a typical address. This is actually a smart contract, um, which allows you to have a lot more kind of functionality. We'll get into that more on StarkNet, but this should come through any moment now. And then when I come on to Jedi Swap, show me my StarkNet ID so I know I'm connected to the to the right wallet. Um, just give me a sec for this to come through. Um, uh, bam. Should happen any second here. You can actually go ahead and uh, click the transaction ID and take you to Stark Scan, which is the basically the block explorer of StarkNet. And it's almost, it's getting there. Um, so yeah, super similar to and how that works. Um, and yeah, I guess this is gonna count down the time until my transaction's ready. Um, and yeah, so that is StarkNet and ID. Guys, I recommend you doing this. Um, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna actually grab another one. Grab DeFi Slate. I'm gonna mint it for one year. Register from the L2. I'm gonna sign. Um, and yeah, I think this is just a cool way to uh, identify yourself on Starknet, and also a cool way uh, to potentially run for an airdrop. And honestly, I think there's probably like some pretty cool domains you can get here, like. What's a really cool domain that's popular? Like, um, hmm, like an influencer or a big brand or something. Why don't we go like, um, 
like Ave. Unavailable. They got me Uniswap. Unavailable. ZKX. Unavailable. How about ZK Sync? Unavailable. See, so some of the good ones are taken, right? But I bet like, like Budweiser. Unavailable. Unavailable. Um, Board Ape Yacht Club. Unavailable. PAYC. Unavailable. So clearly people have came here and, um, you know, played around with these. But, yeah, I think it's a cool, cool idea to kind of uh, um, potentially try to find some uh, find some cool names. Uh, take some time maybe, but it is what it is. So, yeah, I think my first transaction has gone through. Yep, it has. I think they both have now. So I'm going to go on Jedi Swap now and refresh devicelate.spark. That's Stark. Right. So, yeah, that is, uh, that is Starknet, and that is uh, kind of what's going on. And I mean, yeah, that's cool. So yeah, guys, check that out and um, give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, take it easy. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little swap here on Jedi Swap, because why not? Uh, you know, again, airdrop potential and cool features, quick quick usage. Uh, let's see how it goes. So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in to this. I'd recommend getting a StartNet ID. I think they're they're gonna be popular. Um, and I think it's a cool.